Choosing the right audio format depends entirely on what you plan to use the audio for. You are going to want to select an audio format that will suit your needs and of course, achieve the highest possible quality when playing back those files. Let's look at the available formats, who they're meant for, and by the end of the video, I believe you will be ready to commit to one format. Hey friends, I'm Mike, the hi-fi guy behind Audio Architects. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you got something out of it. So I wanna jump right into it. Each audio format out there is tailor-made for a specific listener. After all, we are doing this for the music. Let's go over the most common formats used by the everyday listener. The three main formats are MP3, AAC, and OGG, called Vorbis sometimes. However, these formats are considered to be lossy compressions of the original recording. What is a lossy compression, you might wonder? Well, these files partially discard data from the original file to represent the content. These techniques reduce data size for, you know, basic storing, handling, and transmitting the content. This is totally fine if you have a, you know, dial-up internet connection or playing music from a $10 Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> so what does this mean for you if you're trying to put together a quality sound system? The better your sound system, the easier it will be to reveal that lossy compressed files and perfections. When an artist records music, it's recorded in digital, well nowadays it's recorded in digital bits, basic ones and zeros. Let's use a compact disc as reference here. The CD has a bit rate of 1,411 kilobytes per second, which is how much information is transferred per second. As you may have guessed, the higher the number of bits per second, the more information is provided in that particular piece of music, which means you're getting better quality. MP3s offer an average bit rate of 128 to 320 kilobytes per second. See where I'm going with this? Compared to a CD, the MP3 is severely inferior because it's eliminating a lot of information from the track to provide a smaller compressed file. Now, it's said that a lot of that information removed is beyond audibility or taken from such high frequencies, it's inconsequential. Whoever said that should turn in their credentials immediately because they're completely wrong and totally fired. So there is a drastic, drastic improvement in quality when jumping from an MP3 to a CD or high-res streaming, for that matter, from platforms like Coolbuzz or Tidal. However, if you're really into audio and you want to get the best quality possible, I would turn to two formats called FLAC and or WAVE. So, so um, if you have an extensive collection of CDs, you want to back up to a hard drive or just want the FLAC or WAV files to put on a thumb drive so you can listen to them on your you know, favorite device or if you're building up your room core. Room core, I do have a video about room core. Hit it. Whatever the reason, there are two programs available that are really good at it. One is called DB Power Amp and the other is called Exact Audio Copy. Both will rip your CDs into a FLAC or WAV file. Now, what is the difference between FLAC and WAV? throwing out some crazy words there. Wave has no compression whatsoever. So what you hear from the CD is what you'll get when you rip it directly, just no compressed. However, it's, it's a huge file, like too huge. Like you have nowhere to put it huge. So FLAC offers lossless compression. It uses prediction. It's like the stock markets. When you see a trend, you can usually predict where the next value will be. FLAC saves a trend history in a way. It can use this history to predict a value when, you know, playing the file back. This prediction is not always accurate, just like the stock market. So this has to be corrected to the actual value. This is done with, uh, I guess, a residual that is saved separately. This residual consists of small numbers that can be saved with an intelligent mathematical algorithm called a rice code. I just confuse myself talking about it. There's a lot of math involved with FLAC. The point is, you theoretically don't lose any of the data or sound quality from your music with a FLAC file. Uh, an extra plus is that you don't have to get another hard drive to house all those WAV files. 
the cool thing about FLAC and ALAC, ALAC is like the Apple version of FLAC, if you're in case you're an Apple person, is that their file types are made explicitly for audio so that they can compress your music files way more aggressively than, you know, a standard compression software like WinZip or whatever. I think FLAC is a win-win, a win-win, <laughs> a win-win, because you get to have your cake and eat it too. That's pretty much it. At the end of the day, please choose a comfortable format and roll with it. Nobody's judging you here. If you want to listen to 96 kilobytes per second rips off LimeWire, that's on you. The most important thing here is to enjoy the music and trust your ears. Thank you all for joining me. If you are already subscribed, it's greatly appreciated. If you like videos like these that are more about audio and less about products, leave me a comment below. I want to know because I have noticed that people are more drawn to my like educational content than product reviews. So your input is actually immensely helpful because it helps me balance out my content delivery. Uh, I have online shop where I sell audio inspired t-shirts. This is one of them. Uh, I also sell hoodies and other merch to help the support the channel. Blah, 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 blah. Support the channel. I encourage you to check it out, guys. Buy some stuff, offer ideas for future designs. Let me know. Uh, if you're new to Audio Architects and like it so far, I encourage you to watch some of my other videos to see if my channel is the right fit for you. And I would love for you to hit that thumbs up and end up subscribing and joining me on my voyage in hi-fi. Thank you again for spending some of your day with me. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.